Hello, I'm Gary Jenkins and I'm here in Berlin, Germany, demonstrating for my class that I'm teaching here. And also hello to all you YouTubers out there that are watching me on YouTube, which is great. We're going to be doing a lot of different stuff on YouTube, so uh, make sure you check it out. See? You see how good I am at this? Boy, look at this group. Well, you can't see them, but I've got a nice group of folks here. They're from all over. I got some people from Spain. Where else are you from? Where else? Ukraine. Where? Ukraine. Spain and where else? Ukraine. Ukraine. Germany, of course. Where else? They're just looking at me going. Heidelberg. Heidelberg. Okay. <laughs> all right. What I'm going to do is a little demonstration of some roses. Everybody loves roses, and they are the toughest flower to paint, so let's do some roses for you out there for this good group. So I'm using a half-inch brush, and oh, by the way, <laughs> a special treat for you guys out there. I'm using the new Jenkins uh, Pigment Power Paint. See it? Yeah. This stuff is really good stuff. It, yes, it's more pricey than, than normal paints, but it's concentrated. It, it means that one tube will last you through five or six tubes of the, let's call it, I don't want to use the word cheap, but that's what it is, cheap. Let's say less expensive. <laughs> it's cheap paint that is just full of fillers and linseed oil and, and chicken livers. <laughs> God knows what they put in there. Let's start maybe, oh, I have an acrylic uh, background on here, which is sort of a cobalt blues, yellows with the blue to make a green, white, this is dry. And I put a little uh, coat of linseed oil on here just to kind of let the paint flow. Let's first of all, let's take a little, I'm just going to use turp as a medium. And this is yellow ochre. And let's have a flower right here. Well, that might be a little dark or light. Let's put a little more ochre. Let's put a little sienna with that ochre. So you just test your color. On it goes. We're only interested in the outside shape. Nothing else. Look at that happen. Look, can you see? Ooh, look at that. Let's take a little sienna and put in the middle. Sienna. Maybe a touch of good old mauve in the middle just to darken it. And we'll pull that out. Maybe a little out here. Look at that. You can see the rose sitting in there. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, we got people moving around. Can't see, huh? We're going to take a little, well, maybe we'll block the, well, no. Let's see what we have here. Let's take a little yellow. Yellow with a little white. Very dry. And we'll just pick out a very loose, this will be a very loose painting. We just want the feeling of the rose. Most people that paint roses, they get so hung up on all the, the detail that you don't see the flower anymore. Look at that. Look at it happen. Can you see how easy? So it's not what you're doing, it's what you don't do. And what you don't do is you don't go picking all the petals out that you see in the rose. Just kind of, this is a half inch brush. Look at it go. You gotta love it. <laughs> Don't push down too hard in the area that you want it to go into shadow. If you don't push down hard, it puts less paint down. What would happen if we take some blue <laughs> and white? Oh, look, look at that cool color going in. Look at the cool. Oh, if you lose an edge, which happens, bring it back out. But 
People say, okay, where's your light coming from? I don't care. Could be coming from any place. Light can come from all. It could come from here, there. Light bounces around. A little more, ah, look at that. Can, I don't know if that picks up for you on the camera. Yes, yes. You see, I'm working the, I work the whole flower over, the whole thing. Yeah. Let's take some black and yellow, it makes a green. Let's stick that in here. Maybe we'll have a leaf. Oh, honey. <laughs> Somebody help me. <laughs> There's a little shadow in here. Look at that shadow. Maybe another one over here. It's getting a little darker. Sometimes my hand might be in the way, guys. Can't help me. Maybe we'll have some stems coming out. And it's going to come up. Zowie. Look at the S curve. Yes. Let's take a little red, black, yellow. Play. Play. Don't tighten up. <laughs> Plenty of paper towels, guys. You'll see me using lots of these. Wipe the brush. And we're going to come here where we have this green going in next to the petals. And just pull it in ever so lightly to soften that edge. And it makes it a little ragged looking. Maybe add another. See, with this technique, we can go in and add petals so it looks nice and full. Our light is coming down from the top, so I'm really going to pile that light in there. Bump, 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 bump. Yes. Yellow. Oh, 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 oh. I love it so much. I know. All those folks on YouTube are going, hey, Harry, come in here and see what this guy's doing. This is really cool. Harry goes, I don't want to. I'm watching the football. Leave me alone. A little cool color. Oh. You see? What's going on in there? Mm. If you, sometimes you lose your dark, so you have to go back in. And put your darks back in, just here and there. <laughs> Magenta, rose, and white. Oh, can you do that? Are you allowed to do it? Uh, can you, can you, can you do that? Yes, it's a flipping, flipping, flipping. We've been painting uh, in this class exotic birds and fish. <laughs> now they see me doing this and they go, we want to do roses. We want to do... <laughs> Stem. Oh, oh. Nice dark background so things really, really pop. How about a nice red one? Deep burgundy. Look at that beautiful deep red. Now these new paints that we have are so full of pigment. Doesn't take much. 
So when you squeeze your paint out, you just squeeze out a quarter of what you're normally used to putting on your palette. And you'll still probably have a lot left over. But because there's so much pigment, you can see it covering that acrylic background. We're going to take some mauve, maybe a touch of black, not much, really darken up that center a little. So we must get the outside pretty good. We're going to take Cad Red Light. Cad red light, a beautiful sort of a reddish orange. The belly of the rose is up here. Look at that. Oh, look at, look at that color. Yeah. Cad red light. Boom. Maybe a little orange with the cad red light. Boom. <laughs> now. And I use the side of the brush a lot. You'll you see me using that. You can see how that's starting to resemble a rose. I'll talk to you guys at home because my audience are going. Get <laughs> 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 red light. And it almost looks like the flower already. You don't have to do a lot. Do you love that? We have a choice. We could go with some yellow in there. We could take our, what is that? There are, oh, deep burgundy. We don't want that. Let's try magenta rose. Oh, I already have magenta rose out. I don't know. I think I'll take my orange and yellow. Watch what happens when I hit this. See that light? We just turned the lights on the flower. And we'll just kind of pick that up. Remember, there's so much pigment, I can go, look at that, look. I can go on top without it soaking in. Maybe just a hint of petals out here. Not much. If you want to bring out some more detail, we can do that. There's a petal. There's a petal. Mm -hmm. Now I'm doing something you don't see me do. When I put this stroke down, I push back and then this way. Not all the time, but you see how it, it puts a buildup of paint on the edge of the petal, which brings it out. Sometimes just decide to pick up little accents. Light will be picked up in a few places. Not too many, because that's the dark side. Blue and yellow. Maybe we'll overlap that guy. Oh, 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 yes. We just set him back. Boom, boom. Okay, let's come on up. We're going to come on up. See the stems. The stems are the skeleton of your painting. It gives movement to the painting. It's like leading an orchestra. There's some highlights going in. Let's take a little red. Study leaves, study roses. Leaves are wonderful to study because they have all kinds of color. They're not just green. 
That's why I do floral painting. Because of the color. And you can get so dramatic with everything. We can use yellows. Boom, if I want a yellow, I can put a yellow. Because that background is dry, it's just tinting. Use your finger. Look at it. See, it tints the yellow. Tints the background. Oh! <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Fingers are free. Yes. Boom. Yes. <laughs> Oh, do we have circles? Oh, yeah. Little fantasy circles going on. What, what is he doing? Harry, come in here. He's getting crazy. Loose. Loose. There, look at that stem going over what I just put in. Maybe uh, you have uh, some of those little stickers on there. See it? There. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Notice that any time the brush never leaves my hand. Magenta. Straight magenta out of the tube. Magenta. Oh boy, you gotta love that color. Out of the tube. Look at there's so much pigment in there. It's just beautiful. It's just beautiful like it is. You know. Yeah, the paint's a little more pricey. But it's not as pricey as there's paint that has even more pigment in it. But that stuff is really expensive. This paint has a little less pigment than the top of the line, but there's more pigment than anything you can find in the United States, in Europe, on Mars, on Jupiter. I don't care where you go, you're not going to find any paint with more pigment than this. You gotta pay a little more, but it's concentrated and then it'll go a long way. I wish I had this stuff years ago when I was painting. Yeah. Because with the price down on this, the average person now can afford it. But the other stuff, uh, 80, 90 bucks a tube, who can afford that? It's pricey stuff. So, magenta and white. Look at the color. Now, the first thing people do when they look at your paintings, they're going to look at the color. This is what attracts them. A lot of painters that do impressionistic stuff just leave it like that, which is fine. It's kind of cool. There's a little more white, just bring it up a little. And I'm dancing around, dancing around. Do -do 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 -do. See, it, it's so much easier to do good stuff. It takes the same amount of effort to do good, to do wonderful paintings, to do masterpieces, the same amount of effort as it does to do junk painting. And there's so much junk painting out there. There's teachers out there teaching junk painting. And the students think that it's good because the teacher's doing it. It's all junk, junk. Don't buy into that. Let's do, oh, look at this. Oh, now that, oh, look, look. I don't have to say anything. Of course, it's the style, the technique is important. But you have to have the paint working for you or it ain't gonna work. Look, I just, the, the pigment, I keep, I sound like a broken record, but the pigment is so wonderful. Ugh. 
Maybe around the back, just a little. Oh, look, look. You don't have to get tight with everything. Here's a pedal, there's a pedal. You say so much more with just an indication and let the people interpret what you're doing. Oh, hey, it's nothing new. Renoir did it. Rembrandt did it. All the old boys did it. It's nothing new. But over the time, a lot of this stuff gets lost. So many people are trying to teach stuff that's so oversimplified, it's just junk stuff, and it, and it gets lost. This is where you want to go. And get excited about what you're doing. I've been painting for years. I still love it. I still love it. Because I'm still learning. <laughs> and with this new paint, the new paint, it's just, it's just a kick. Life is good. Blue, blue, look at that blue. With a little ah, magenta, what's that? Oh, look at that go in. <laughs> oh, wow, well, wow. Well. <sighs> okay, maybe that's a little hard looking. What do you do? Well, finger, fingers are free. I'm gonna smooth, just hit that. I'm throwing it out of focus. Are you allowed to do that? Yes. Use your towel, push it around. Don't be ordinary. If you play it safe, you're never gonna do this stuff. Yes, you're gonna screw up. The difference between a professional and the painter that's not professional is that the professional has, has screwed up more times than the average person. The professional has tried and lost, tried and lost, tried and lost more times than the other person. That's what separates one from the other. Just a lot of work and dedication. If you're gonna spend your money, go to sp spend your time, do something worthwhile. No, yeah, true. Yay! I said it and I'm glad. Yeah, maybe what I say isn't politically correct, but it's got to be said. <laughs> I'm the Donald Trump of the painting world. <laughs> I say it like it is. Oh, there's that. Look at that go. Watch it curve. Bump, bump. You see the action. We're going to come up. There's an S curve. Maybe we're going to come up here, here, and going to come up and twist. I love that magenta. Magenta roses. We're going to have a bud up here. And the white hitting the magenta. Watch it. <laughs> Doesn't get any better than that. Oh, more magenta. Then we put a little greenery on there. Yeah, here. Let that, let it go. Oh, yes. Yes. I'm going to do my little trick one. <laughs> my little, let me get some more magenta. You'll find that these tubes are heavier, too. And these are 40 milliliter instead of 37, which is 37 milliliter is the normal size you find. And this is 40. We're going to pick up magenta rose and white on the flat and the side. 
I'm going to put a little green on the tip and we're going to come along here, stop and push down. You think there's a bud under there? You see it? I'll do it again. You might have missed it. <laughs> Magenta rose, white on the side and the flat, green on the tip. Stop and push. There's another one. I love it. A little greenery on the top. And we're cooking. Maybe a little darker in here. Get some darker leaves in there. Composition, where we're just balancing the painting out, make sure everything's cooking, everything's balanced. Leaves going in, keep them loose and free. Don't want anything fighting the flowers. This is a rose painting, not a leaf painting. Little blue, ochre. Oh, 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 oh. See the curve? Yeah? I see it. I'm not stupid. I see what you're doing. <laughs> Harry, this guy's crazy. Now, what am I doing? I'm going around balancing the, the color around. Not every place is going to have something in it. Or you'll get so busy you can't see anything. <sighs> little subtle stuff going on, little detail. Don't overlook it. Again, a blank, a, a blank spot balances a busy. You don't want a bunch of leaves here. And you see the, I see, I see teachers teaching. This style of floral painting, where they put leaves all over the place and they're coming from who knows where. It's terrible, it's garbage. All right, well, I think we might have enough in this one. There you are, all you uh, YouTubers out there. Give Barbie Flora a call. Their web address will be on the show. Give them a call. Uh, drop them an email. Let them know if you like this guy named Jenkins. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.